playing in Chengdu in his first event of the Asian Swing is Karen Kachinov, another who must conquer the time difference. It's a tough after travel here, especially in Asia, with the time difference, but trying to adapt and getting ready for my match. Ahead of his match, Karen heads out to take in some of the culture on offer in Chengdu. Being able to balance time on and off the court is all part of the learning process for the younger generation. I think you can schedule your day perfectly and you can, you can have some activities like this and then you can do your things on the court and in the clubs. I'm trying to put all together. Before heading to the courts to work on his game, Kachinov goes through key physical preparation. I started to warm up better and to work with the physio two years ago. It's a big part of tennis, so now it's everything all together. So practice, warm up, flexibility, mentality. I know you come in. You are doing this and you are going here. I want you to go there. Exactly. But now stay lower. He has a lot of potential, still young, especially in mind, and uh, it's a question of time. I think if he keeps working as he's doing, it's, it's going to be a question of time and he's going to be there soon. On the hunt for his first ATP World Tour title, Kachinov underlines his potential <laughs> with some stirring victories. He's gaining momentum and confidence. Navigating some difficult challenges on the way, the Russian reaches the final and will now have the chance to achieve the dream of every professional tennis player. I think the first match against Joao Sosa gave him a lot of confidence. It was a, a pretty intense match. There is no secret, so nothing special. Just try to be focused, try to play on the, the way we were practicing and to do the things that we planned before. Set down. Karen Kachinov underlines not just his talent but his mentality. At just 20, he's announced himself to the tennis world as a player to be taken seriously. That the first dream achieved, you know, like to win the first ATP title. It's not like it came from the sky, you know. <laughs> I worked for this and I've got, I've got this week this title. Week two of the Asian Swing begins at the China Open in Beijing, a 500-level event with a strong field of top players. Trying to maintain the form that saw him win his first title, Alexander Zverev realizes it's essential to keep his body in working order. That means a physio session before he picks up a racket. The early bird? You have to kind of do that all the time. Get your body checked out so you don't, you don't risk any, any injury, so you don't get hurt or something like that. Um, you know, which obviously getting hurt can take playing time away a lot and can take important time now uh, and you're at a young age as well. Take, just take it away, so you know, you better take care of your body. For Zverev, life on the tour is a family affair. Coached by his father, and supported by his brother Misha, also a professional tennis player. The family bond creates a unique dynamic. We practice together a lot. I just try to help him here and there whenever he has questions or you know when we talk about opponents. Just try to be a good team and uh, mainly be his older brother and just like have fun with him. Seeing my brother practice the way he practiced at a very early age, you see the professionalism at a very young age that you have to you have to do 
to become uh, a great player. In his first round match, Zverev will face his good friend Dominic Thiem. But Zverev must put aside this friendship if he's to achieve his first win over Thiem after three unsuccessful attempts. When I play Dominic, he's uh, such a good friend that it's, you know, it's hard to blend that out a little bit on court. It's not easy, but it's something that you, you know I have to learn uh, to do. You got to treat him the same way you would any other opponent, which is which is not easy uh, with the friendship we have. For Zverev, it was a breakthrough win as he defeated the Austrian to move on in the tournament. Playing in his first event of the Asian Swing is Kyle Edmund, who's gunning for a place in the world's top 50. For me, I'm trying to get obviously up the rankings, get further in tournaments. There's always another level to get to, so the, that in itself is motivation. I'm nowhere near the, you know, what I want to be, the finished product, you know, let's say. So uh, there's that constant motivation of getting your game better. Uh, getting more wins and you're about beating obviously high ranked players. There is no rest by it for anyone. An all British quarter final with Andy Murray is on the horizon. Edmund digs deep in his early rounds to continue the impressive form shown by the next gen players in Asia. When you're off the court, you're not playing tennis, it's for me it's very much a routine life. You're in a hotel room right now after the day, just chilling out, uh, recovering. And then for me, it's just you wake up, go to the courts, do what you need to do, practice or play a match, get in the gym, and then it's recovering. I think keeping yourself fresh and entertained is definitely, definitely good for you. Play Andy in the quarters. I look forward to it. You know, he's a legend in the game, done a lot for, for British tennis, so. Uh, I think it would just be a great, great experience and uh, a good opportunity um, to get, get more time against top players. In the quarterfinals, Zverev and Edmund came up against two of the tour's most consistent and successful players, Andy Murray and David Ferrer, who would make their experience tell against the next-gen stars. I knew it was going to be a hard match today. He'd come through qualifying here, had a good win in the, the last round against Bautista. He's playing really well and he'll be up at the top of the game soon. I know that uh, Zverev is a, a, a great player. He has a very good future. He's going to be top 10, I think so. And I have more experience. I have 15 years uh, more than him. And, and in these moments, uh, maybe tonight was the, the key. That experience will only come in time. The next year, no, the road is long if they're to beat the elite week in, week out.